Okay, so now in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the camera movement so that the player can look around in the environment and go to different type of places, all right? For that, what we're gonna do is open up the player controller, all right? And right here, let's create another header by the name of camera. And in here, we're going to create a public float by the name of mouse sensitivity. This will be equals to 2 by default. All right, we just need this variable. Then after that, right here, we will create another method by the name of handle camera movement. All right, for the camera movement, if I show you the input manager again right here we have this mouse x and mouse y all right and this mouse x and y is set to the x s uh, axis rotation and the y axis rotation so whenever we move our mouse on the left and right it will rotate the camera to left and right and also up and down as well all right so what we're gonna do right here is that we're gonna create a float by the name of mouse x this will be equals to input dot get axis all right then we're gonna say mouse x this is the input name and we're gonna multiply that by the mouse sensitivity and the same we're gonna do for the mouse y so create a float mouse y right here type mouse y as well and i think there is space between mouse space x and mouse space y all right so make sure that you give some space in between all right a single space because if i show you right here click on project setting input manager right here as you can see there is space between x and y and the mouse keyword all right so make sure that you type it exactly the same or else it will not work then we're gonna say transform dot rotate let's type right here vector 3 dot up multiply that by the mouse x and then for the mouse y movement we will create a float by the name of vertical look rotation all right this will be equals to camera dot main dot okay it is auto corrected right here it is just camera dot main dot transform dot local euler angles dot x minus the mouse y input then we will say camera dot main what well, is auto correcting this it is just camera dot main dot transform dot local rotation equals to quatronian dot euler right here type vertical look rotation then pass 0 and 0 for the y and z axis all right that is all we have to do for the mouse movement so now we can just copy this method from here and paste it right above the handle player movement that is it then if we go ahead and play the game when the game starts here is our mouse movement all right and our player movement as well as you can see we can move around in the environment freely but if you notice the player is moving perfectly fine but the cursor of the mouse is not locked to the screen so let's go ahead and lock the cursor to the screen first of all for that right here in the start method right after the character controller we will type cursor dot lock state equals to cursor lock mode dot 
locked this will lock the cursor we can just get back right here after saving the game then click on player all right you can set your mouse sensitivity according to your own liking but i will leave this as two since i like a little bit slow sensitivity all right and then change the radius of the character controller to 0 0.3 Alright, and the reason we change this to 0.3 is because we want the player to hide in here as well. And also, if we move up right here, we also want the player to hide in this cabinet as well. Alright, and now if you notice, the cursor is locked once the game starts. Alright, just click on the screen and it will get locked. But now if you notice that after reducing the radius, the player can now look inside the objects in the environment as you can see all right and we don't want this all right so in the next video what we're gonna do is we're gonna add camera collision and also we're gonna make a professional camera controller for our game so with this done let's end this video right here